<laughs> and that brings us to chapter 28, which is the Queen's Gala. And Volk is preparing to go and ends up cutting himself with the razor from William. Luckily, he heals super quickly, so it's not a big deal, but he does have this sense of pride from using the razor and, and thinking of William. Imagine him walking out of the hotel with a bunch of toilet paper stuck to his face. <laughs> I've shaved before. <laughs> Imagine Carnivore just like, oh God, I can't believe I have to go to this. What did I do? So luckily he heals. Luckily, very luckily he heals. Because Karna does show up in, in the carriage and he mentions that it's his first date. And we actually realized that the driver is the exact same person that lured Volk into the show to begin with. So is it a coincidence here? <laughs> Man of many talents. I guess so. I mean, he maybe, maybe he's her personal bodyguard. <laughs> With his beer belly. They get to the gala and of course the the puppy arcanists that <laughs> they were getting into a fight with earlier are there and their dates insult Karna and Volk didn't realize she was a lady of the night. This is news to him, so he gets upset <laughs> and he's not even upset that she's a lady of the night. That's a her choice. But he's upset that all arcanists don't have these high moral standards that he read about in all his books, which I thought was funny because he's dealt with pirates. Someone created the plague. He knows quite a few people. They're just not nice to Karna and that's their failing trait. And, but he is willing to risk his reputation for her. At first Karna asked him if he was embarrassed and he said, yes. And she was totally expecting him being embarrassed to her. But then He's explaining how he's embarrassed about his peers and they're acting like they were. And maybe maybe Volk was upset because the Arcanists that he's meeting at the gala are are not the pirates, they're not the ones that are that were creating the plague. So he he had this expectation of I would say non questionable moral as the Arcanist says quote unquote bad guy. So he just assumed that all Arcanists that were not bad held themselves to higher standards. And I want to thank everybody for listening and uh, just want to remind everybody that we post our new episode every Wednesday morning around 11 a.m. Eastern Standard, 10 Central. And for those that are out on the Pacific Ocean, 8 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We are podcasting on all platforms that podcasts are played on. We're also on YouTube for video, and we want to make sure we give our thanks to our editor, Dan Mackison, for including pictures and links to everything. And if you want to reach out to us on Google, we are at frithguildpod at gmail.com or Facebook or other social medias at Frith Guild Podcast. Pretty much, we, we own the market on at Frith Guild Podcast. So <laughs> if you look us up like that, you'll find us somewhere. We want to thank the Frith Chronicles Wiki as well as a great resource. And again, link to everything is down below in the description section. And with that, we are ending this week's chapter and we will look forward to hearing from you next time. Scott, you got anything else? No, looking forward to it. All right. I think we're getting close to the tourney. Close. I, I thought it was earlier, but I was, I was a bit anxious <laughs> for it. All right. We'll see you next time.